Let's just pray once again uh, before we come to God's word. Father God, we want to come to you again and thank you so much for the Lord Jesus Christ. And we thank you that we can read about him even to this day. And we pray that you would teach us now. Uh, we're so conscious that we need you. And we need your Holy Spirit to teach us uh, what these words truly mean. And we pray that he would uh, this evening. Not because of anything good that we've done, uh, but all because of your grace and because of what Christ has done for us. We ask all these things in his name. Amen. I would like you to uh, imagine that you are a man uh, engaged to be married. It might be a stretch for some of you, but imagine that you are a man engaged to be married. Uh, you have the date all set. Uh, you've chosen the church where the ceremony is going to be. Uh, the venue for the reception is finalized. Uh, everything is done and prepared and sorted. And you're just waiting for the big day. When suddenly you receive devastating news. Your fiancé is pregnant. Now that is exactly, well, nearly exactly, what happened to Joseph. And we're so familiar with the story that we uh, perhaps fail to appreciate the uh, grief and confusion that must have caused in Joseph's heart. Uh, we get a, a little glimpse of it in the passage we read um, in verse 18 of chapter 1. It says, Now the birth of Jesus Christ was on this wise, when as his mother Mary was espoused, 